Hi, I'm Mary Ladrick, Director of Education at the Museum of the Shenandoah Valley. And this is Take a Look Tuesday, where each week we take a look at another piece of art in the MSV collection. This week, I have a portrait for you to look at. Just take a minute and take it all in. What do you notice about her? Maybe you notice the lovely expression on her face, very demure, or the beautiful gown that she's wearing with the pearls woven throughout. Maybe you're noticing her elaborate hair swept up in a big bouffant with some beads. Let's take a closer look at her face. Any guess on what time period she lived in when this portrait was painted? When one would not be supposed to be smiling brightly in a portrait but to have a very composed expression on one's face. Here you can see the hair and the beads. And a little closer look at some of the brushwork the artist used to create the illusion of the fabric in her gown. Her name is Mrs. George Oswald. She was born Margaret Smith, married George Oswald. And her portrait is by Thomas Gainsborough, who was one of the premier portraitists at this time period. Of course, only the very wealthy could afford to have Gainsborough paint your portrait. And indeed, the Oswalds were very wealthy. This was their home in Scotland where they lived near Ayrshire. George Oswald actually inherited the estate from his uncle Richard and although I always say this it's tacky to talk about money everybody always wants to know why they were so wealthy and Margaret's father was a lord, Lord Smith. Um, George's uncle Richard made his money in slave trade and they were they also had a tobacco firm um, but Richard Oswald was also a British peace commissioner who helped negotiate the Treaty of Paris in 1793 that ended the American Revolutionary War in which America negotiated for her freedom from England. Gainsborough you may have heard of Here's another one of his very famous paintings, The Blue Boy, which was done right around the same time period in which he painted Mrs. Oswald. And notice again the beautiful treatment of the fabric, the brush strokes in the background. He, Gainsborough also painted Queen Charlotte, who was the wife of King George III. Um, the American adversary in the Revolutionary War. But Gainsborough painted Charlotte after, nope, before that time. And we don't have this portrait of Queen Charlotte in our collection at the MSV, but we do have her sofa. The sofa belonged to her, but that is another story for our next Take a Look Tuesday next week. So I hope you will join me then when we take a look at something different. Till then, take care.